Welcome everyone to the 25th video of this 84 part series. In these next few videos, I'm going to talk about the chakras. The previous video was the throat chakra, which I recommend everyone watch. And the previous, previous video was the third eye chakra. And now we're going to talk about the, following down the line, the anahata or the heart chakra. The anahata means, which I think is very significant to the definition of this Sanskrit word, is unstruck sound or sound without um, any contact or sound without vibration. So usually something that makes a sound has to collide with something like clapping of the hands. But this is a sound that has no contact. It just is a sound. And the heart chakra does make makes sounds. I was never really um, in my spiritual evolution. I was never focused on this part of my life. I just live life normally. And whatever I needed to do for my own personal growth, it really never revolved around the heart center. So um, I just lived normally as uh, I wanted to live. And my heart's evolution, you could say, just naturally progressed. Uh, what I mean to say is that I didn't focus on my heart chakra as much as I did on my third eye, or even my throat chakra, or let's say my, my uh, solar plexus, or various other uh, parts of me or dimensions of me. This part of me just naturally I didn't pay any attention to. But here I'm going to share some things that I know about this center. What I know from personal experience is that the third eye is the easiest energy to move. Following down the list, the second easiest energy in the body to move is the heart chakra. You could just think of someone that you love, picture that person, and you can send that person this heart energy very effortless, effortlessly. And that person will receive it. It's not like you're sending it into your imagination or into space. Whatever you think about and whatever you put your attention to, that's where the energy will go. Where attention goes, energy flows. I never really paid much attention to the center because there is a lot of confusion here the possibility for a lot of confusion and a lot of complication that can arise if you go really too far into this. You have to be really mentally stable for you to delve into this because you will start to hear sounds. <clears throat> there have been a few times where I was laying in bed and just naturally the heart center uh, wanted to open up. And I began to audibly hear sounds in my room. And, you know, for someone that, if someone didn't have enough mental stability, I could, uh, like, I could for sure say that they would think, oh, well, God is talking to me or something or this or a ghost is here. But I could very clearly uh, differentiate or perceive rather that this is my heart chakra this is the sound that's coming out of whatever my imagination just made that's the sound that I hear something Sadhguru says is that whenever he takes people on meditation retreats or certain kinds of meditations he always moves their heart chakra out of the way because if this part of you gets entangled in the processes of whatever you're doing you will have feelings and emotions about everything and you will agree or disagree and emotions are tricky emotions are um you know they're not exactly useful if you have a goal in mind and you're pursuing that goal one thing i know that blocks the heart chakra is grief 
grief of any kind. And grief doesn't necessarily mean that you lost someone or that someone had passed away, although that's the most obvious form of grief. But grief in terms of you lost your bicycle, someone just stole. Or grief in terms of you wanted that last piece of sushi and someone took it. <laughs> um, so grief doesn't have to be so extreme. And uh, yeah, it's, you can easily shut yourself down. Well, carrying on. The center of the chest is where the heart chakra resides. Actually, it's just below the rib cage, right uh, in the soft spot, right below where the bones end. And it's in the center of the body. So we have the three lower chakras and we have the three upper chakras and one in the middle, the heart chakra, it is in the dead center in the middle. So the first three are like stability for your body and helping you keep alive, food, survival, sleep, reproduction, all of that. The higher three are to do with not reproduction, but with elevated levels of life, things that are more refined and not easily accessible. So only once you are eating well and sleeping good and you have safety handled, then you can explore the higher three. And the middle one is junction point between those two. So you can imagine the higher three and the lower three coming together and that, whatever that sound is, that is the heart chakra. Also I've noticed that the heart chakra is the, it is the center that is most um, receptive towards your body position your body language so you can be relatively in any body position with your third eye or your throat chakra or maintenance center or virtually any other of the six but the heart chakra definitely responds to how your body's position is and the more open you are the, op the, the more open your chest is the more receptive it becomes and the more open it becomes so keep in mind to keep an open body posture and not to slouch not to hunch forward and keep an open chest. The heart chakra is perfectly symbolized in the David star, the star of David, with the upper triangle going up, that's the first three chakras trying to rise, and the downward triangle representing the higher three chakras going down, or the divine in space and to your body. And that is the meeting point of the two. That's the center. And that's it. That's pretty much all that I have to share with you for now. Don't have any, much else to say. But as uh, many topics that I'm gonna discuss here, I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna dive deeper into them as I continue making these videos. So stay tuned for that. Goodbye.